There you go. Hi, welcome back on Adobe Live. Uh, Rufus, I will need your help. If you can display the chat, it's in the third tab. Should be there. Uh, we're welcome our friends. We're live from Paris, and it's all about graphic design today. And we have a new guest. Uh, so we were with Gordon, we were with Christina, Julia, and we have two more guests. And now we welcome Martin. 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 Yes. Martin. <laughs> yeah, because in uh, in French we would say Martin. We don't. In English we would say Martin, but no, yeah, it's okay. Martin. 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 Okay. That's it. I will do my best. You know. You know, French people and Belgian people are very close. Well, they are cousins. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for joining. I mean, it's awesome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. yeah so we'll be live together for two hours. Let us know in the chat where you are from. Uh, yeah. Welcome back. I see a Zena in the chat. I see a Zoro. Wow, Zoro. You know Zoro? Zoro? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's there. He's, he's watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's almost the night shift. Okay, because we have one more guest uh, coming in two hours. Jing from London, and this would be the night shift because it's uh, only 8 p.m. in Paris. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Doing good. Yeah. Okay. So just a reminder, uh, friends in the chat, remember that we have a live contest going on. But I will. Uh, uh, explain more about the rules, what you can win and how to participate. But first, I want uh, you in the chat to tell us where you are watching from. I see someone uh, from the Netherlands. It's awesome. Uh, bonjour. Hi, everyone. Someone from Tampa in Florida. Yeah. And uh, Houston, Texas, Netherlands, Fresno in California, Greece. Okay, that's great. And uh, maybe, Martin, we can start by discovering your work. Okay. Yeah. I see that your portfolio is open. I have a portfolio. Very on, professional. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Ready to roll. Oh, I don't know why we. There are two pictures of us. Yeah, don't worry. I will just play with that. Here okay. we go. Yeah. So I'm on uh, I'm I'm on uh, Behance, and this is my portfolio. Um, I also used uh, the Adobe portfolio to uh, make a web. So I'll bring you there. So this is my website. This is what I do. I do branding. Um, oh. I started my career in uh, publishing, so I love to do books. I still okay. love doing those. Um, I also make book covers, make as many as I can. <laughs> <laughs> I do photography. This is oh, my okay. it's uh, your passion. Yeah, it's a side thingy. Um, I'm on Unsplash if you like. Um, what is it? Unsplash is a community um, that shares. Just upload your work, okay, and you can download it for free. These ah, okay, all, so you yeah, these are all high you res. Give a license, everyone yeah. can use it. There's no license. You can and just flash. pick okay. him. Just go to my profile and pick him. Yeah. So you know that uh, you as you are a photographer, if you want to also take pictures and uh, license them, you know, mm -hmm. monetize them, you can use Adobe Stock now. Yeah, we have a service, but that's uh, yeah. I'm looking into it, but I'm still yeah. developing my skills. So this no, is, it looks this great. Is it looks yeah. So uh, branding uh, books. I also do um, screen printing on the side. So oh, this is, okay. This is uh, something I made. Oh, it's good to know. So yeah, if you have any questions about print, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Martin can answer I. because when you <laughs> I'll try. when you are into screen printing, you're already okay. very advanced. Um, yeah, I do these. Oh, Hexagon. I love this cover. What is it? Yeah, it's a book about foodies, foodies. Oh, nice. Flemish foodies. It's a great book. You should look into. Oh, and this project, look. Um, this is my hexagon it's there. Behind us, I it's behind us. That's it. That one. Uh, there's a movie on my website how I made this one. Okay. So it's uh, have a look. Um, you like playing with uh, geometry in general? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Or organic forms like these. Organic uh, forms, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Um, uh, we have some unsplash uh, fans in the chat. Oh, Let's great! Know. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great cool. uh, community. And I like to do some things with type, a bit of lettering and uh, playing around with. Yeah, a lot of uh, fields of of graphic design. Yes, yeah. uh, it's awesome. Try to to learn. So that's it. To I'm learn, also, uh, learn, guys, it's a I'm very also... very impressive portfolio uh, already. And you share on Instagram. Okay. I'm on Instagram if you like. Yeah, um, make sure to follow Martin. I'm not a, an so oversharer, but it's your full name, okay? That's Martin Dakers yes. on Instagram. I'm sure someone in the chat will, one of the mod will copy paste the link. Okay. Uh, image first is asking you uh, the bear. How is it made of? Uh, the one on the wall. Yeah. Uh, do you know um, the one behind us? Yeah. 
you got when you have a door and there's uh, air coming in you have these uh, strips that you can paste on the door okay to keep the air out i'll show you out for uh, isolation isolation strips are they and ah. they have a sticky side and they have this oh, mushy yeah. side like this oh yeah, yeah yeah so i just pasted it on the wall and cut them that's smart and then i over painted over them so the, the oh. mush will get hard okay Okay, it's all on the video. Can you show it again? Uh, the pictures? Yeah. So yeah. That's that's the thing. Yeah. I see. And then it turns out like this when it's once because it's painted. You are, you are yeah. cold at your place. <laughs> <laughs> at winter. Actually, yeah, I needed those. <laughs> <laughs> and I had 10 meters, so I had to do something with it. Yeah, Jim says uh, awesome work, Martin. Thank yeah, you. It's very impressive. Thanks. So you have your Instagram, so they can follow you. I already see the link in the chat. Okay. Thanks for putting the link. Um, oh, they know what this is, the tape. So yeah, okay. it's a cool application. Yeah. Okay. It's very smart. Um, so I'll dive in to what I... Yeah, so prepared. what do you want to do? You know, you have two hours today, two hours tomorrow. He will be back and also on Thursday. So that's the principle of Adobe Live. You know, we give time to yeah. our guests to work on creative projects. Okay. So what is your plan? My plan is to do, to finish one piece today. Wow. Um, in two hours. Yeah, but I, I prepared. It's not yeah, like I'm a, I'm a wizard fine. <laughs> doing things in two hours. Um, it's all about sharing. So I just cool. want to give you an insight in how, how I think and how I approach a project like this. And uh, you'll see me work on it. Um, this is one very close to home because this is my home. <laughs> uh, it's an old cinema and the, the photograph on the left is how it was, I don't know, in the 50s maybe. Okay. And this is how it is now and we, there's a few families living there and uh, my back door neighbor, he, uh, he lives in the, uh, the old cinema room and we do living room <laughs> concerts and oh, this, nice. is, this is Julia Kent playing for us. So I wanted to do a logo for the, for the place because yeah. every time we want to make posters, I, I just moved in uh, like two years ago, I haven't been oh, part okay. of it yet, so I wanted to contribute. So I started by um, exploring the building, taking pictures of all kinds of details. Um, mm -hmm. So it's a lot of geometric forms, a lot of circles, no hard lines, like these bubbly ones. These oh, are uh, that's next to the uh, the big entrance, mm -hmm. like columns. The, yeah, this is where you entered the cinema. Okay. Um, so these are. Uh, and these glass windows are still uh, still there. Wow. Um, so these will be a big part of how I... <laughs> Your inspiration? Yeah, they will... Uh, I'll, I'll... Looks like a trumpet almost. The... This one? Oh, like on, on yeah, the... Yeah, it's actually... Like this one. It's, uh, yeah. Could be a trumpet. Could be a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is my starting point uh, when I started sketching and thinking. And this is a mood board about some inspiration because uh, I really like I deco, I like these hmm. geometric forms and what they do with uh, lettering, these, these extra lines, all these little details adding to the letters. Oh, yeah. This is frequent, no, this is, this is fairly recent, but this is old. Yeah. Also what I find interesting is when you have graphic, graphic animal, animal, <laughs> animals, uh, graphic <laughs> elements <laughs> scattered all over a poster and uh, you have a, an image underneath. Oh yeah, so it's great. Yeah, those are, uh, yeah. yeah, those are Cubes. Yeah. yeah, that's a great one. So that's uh, the kind of stuff I want to bring together. So, like, you s here's one, Cinema Paradiso, which was uh, yeah. also an influence. I liked the lettering. If you look at the C and the mm -hmm. A, uh, corresponds well with the uh, with the curve in the glass window. So I started looking for a font that really Match. matched it. And it's Avenida. Avenida. Yeah. It refers to the 1930s, 40s period, but it was made in the 90s. Okay. <clears throat> so um, that'll be my starting point. Okay. And then I used uh, Adobe Capture and walked all around the building, capturing all kinds of colors. Oh, nice. And then I, I derived, derived these two the color, color palettes. Paleta, color palettes. Yeah. So if you don't know in the chat where is Adobe Capture, it's a free application on iOS and Android. Someone will probably put a link in the chat. 
uh, it's free and you use the camera of your smartphone to capture colors. So if you are in front of this uh, glass window, it will automatically detect the dominant colors, uh, such as the red, of course, uh, the greenish, bluish, yeah. uh, tint, orange. Um, so yeah, so, and uh, it creates a color palette of five colors that will automatically be loaded in Photoshop, in Design Illustrator, in your Creative Cloud library. So it's super convenient. Hey, we have people from Turkey. Thanks for joining. Okay. Also, Powell is saying that it's very uh, like uh, the great uh, uh, Gatsby. Ah, yeah, yeah. Like, I love, I love the yeah, movie. It's yeah, it's great atmosphere. Yeah. Great atmosphere, yeah. Um, oh, that's so, exciting. Yeah. Okay, so I jumped forward. This is where we're heading off. Okay. Um, for those that don't that don't know the Adobe Capture, this is I just uh, made a library and I started. These are all snapshots. These these yellow ones, the, the beige ones. And I just mm. picked those that I liked and awesome. put uh, five together. It's so awesome. this is my uh, this is the uh, Avenida font that I'll be using. It has uh, upper caps and, and lower uh, uppercase and lowercase. Since we're not living in a in a tall building like uh, <laughs> like in Art Deco times, I'll stick with these uh, lowercase. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to look like. A no, it's just a simple building, but <laughs> it has some uh, history on it. That's right. Um, so, okay, I'll start from here then. Okay. <clears throat> Turn these into outlines and uh, get going. And as you will be working in, uh, in Illustrator, I will explain again what is the contest that we have going okay. on. So you're all invited also to work in Illustrator with us. So we'll show you in a second how it works. So it's super easy. The first step, you go on adbelive.com. Let me show you. Here, you go on adbelive.com and there is either the contest tab, okay, where you can click and download the template, or you can click here get the template okay so it will open a new page where you can download uh, an illustrator file that you can open with illustrator cc and when you open the file you will get this so on the left you will get all the instructions and basically it's a black and white poster we want you to fix the colors okay add some colors and also fix the typography because look at that it's really poor design <laughs> designer was using arial and seriously that's very logo. poor design that's in here logo. lobster <sighs> Forbidden font. Okay. So you fix uh, the colors, you fix the typography, and then you can share it. We explained it here how on Twitter and Instagram. Just add the Adobe Live hashtag. And actually, someone already did, such as Thomas, who made this proposal. Something very flashy, very uh, playful. Yeah. Yeah, that there is an audience for this. It's very colorful, but you can find uh, also another style, vintage, retro, uh, science fiction, 80s, 90s. Yeah, just find a graphic style such as Tomat and uh, Thomas and share it. It's awesome. Okay, let's go back to your screen and to Cinema Roxy. <sighs> So uh, also, yeah, so we invite you to participate because you can win credit card subscription if you enter the contest. You can win uh, Adobe Stock subscriptions and also posters created this week on Adobe Live. Maybe a Cinema Roxy poster, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Signed by Martin, <laughs> who knows? Um, so, okay, I'm here. You feel good? I feel good. Yeah, this, this well is, balanced. This is pretty much, <laughs> and also, I need to print this and turn it upside down to see the, the exact uh, spacing, but we're not going to go into that. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. Um, I'm just going to try something. I made some sketches, uh, not a really important, but I'm going to try and replicate this column uh, to use inside the letters. <laughs> So when does the contest end? It's all in the instructions uh, trends, but basically you have until uh, 
Friday. Uh, it ends on Thursday night, like 8 p.m. Pacific time. So that's the time in San Francisco. So you still have a lot of time. So Thursday, if you live on the West Coast in the US, but Friday, if you live anywhere else. What are we working on? Something I'm gonna, to yeah, gonna try to make this column with all the bubbles. Oh, the column that yeah. took and a picture of. Put a, try and get it here. Oh, I see where you're going to. <laughs> um, just align these. And also there is another new feature on adobelive.com. There is a submit your portfolio button. It would generate a tweet with the Adobe Live hashtag, and uh, we might review if you like. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, some yeah. portfolios during the stream. Great. If you yeah. can just give some live critique. Okay. So feel free to share also your portfolio. It's the new uh, submit your portfolio button on adobelive.com. So. Use the blend tool like everyone else. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look at the magic. Go. <laughs> You're quite good on the steps already. Yeah? I mean, by default, it's okay. No? Um, you want more space? Oh, we need a Less. little. Oh. A little, a little space. How close do I need to make him to the real thing? So you feel it's important to, to take elements from uh, space and uh, bring them to the identity? Like... Yeah, I think it's uh, it's a story that's already there. It's a story, okay. Yeah, if you uh, see the logo and then visit the, the old cinema, you see all the features. You mm. can. It's not something I made up. The story is already there. The history is there. So why not make use of it? Mm. Leverages, yeah. Yeah. I see yeah. So Trisha is saying, I hate when people watch me work. So much <laughs> respect. <laughs> ah, we have someone from Leuven, from ah, our city. Great. It's Bong. You know Bong? So I'm just continuing with, with all the lines, the ones that are, are on the glass windows. I want to integrate those. Uh, so I'll just see where they can fit in. So now I'm just doing what <laughs> all these Art Deco typefaces do. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Rai. So yeah, he, he's using Avenida. Someone is watching from Grimsby. Where is it? Where is that? Where is Grimsby? Maybe in Australia search. or something. <laughs> no, no, it's too late. Yeah, it should be. Grim Grimsby. Movie, apparently. In the UK. In the UK, yes, the yeah. UK. Okay. All right. So these are way too many. I need to eliminate. It's always good to go too far and then come back. 
Oh, my soul, you, you love the Adobe stock, uh, the art director, oh yeah, the action hero figure. I will let you know tomorrow, but maybe we can give away some uh, art director figures. Because I think there are some in Paris if you enter the contest. So make sure to download the template, fix the poster, <laughs> add some colors, some typography. You can find the template on Adobe Live. Hello, Pedro from Lisbon. Thanks for joining. Hi, Madamin from Tunisia. If you have any question about uh, graphic design, about life for Martin. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, Christine is asking you, when you copy paste those lines, how are yeah. you getting them to paste in place? I haven't pasted them in place. Okay. I'm just putting them you, wherever. You trust your, your eyes. Just my eyes, yeah. I'm still eyeballing. Hi Abdu, watching from Algeria. Thanks for watching. So if you're joining, we're with Martin. Uh, he's uh, living in uh, Belgium. He just moved to a new district. <laughs> I mean, two years ago, uh, where there is an old cinema where they do cultural events like uh, music concerts. Yeah, there's or, just yeah. There's, there's people living there, but every yeah. once in a while we invite a, an artist to play in the yeah. living room. To play in the living room, yeah. so. To promote these uh, concerts, we need some uh, identity, a new logo for the place. So Martin's working on this. So actually, I need these letters to be a bit softer because there's all these curvy lines, and it's all uh, straight now. So maybe I can. Uh, these to uh, uh, Chris is asking when UI UX live uh, this is coming Chris we are in May right in two or three months, yeah, but it's coming. This summer, there will be a big live stream about UX design. I'm working on it. And we are live on adobelive.com every two weeks. So we will be back live within two weeks with uh, graphic designers, but from uh, the US. And from um, Quebec. Okay. Yeah, it will be your first. Three graphic designers from Quebec, including a screen printer. So nice. Yeah. It's, his name is Simon La Liberté, and he has a so he's a graphic designer like you, but he mm -hmm. also has an atelier okay. to print, you know, t-shirts, wow. and uh, yeah, uh, so nice. he manages both. Yeah. So yeah, it should be interesting. I don't have my own uh, printing have, press or no? anything. No, uh, I go to uh, to art school at evenings to do it. Yeah, but maybe one day. Serge says, hi guys, Thanks, uh, thank you for sharing and uh, thanks for watching. And again, this is live, don't hesitate to ask questions. We're working on this uh, identity for an old building. Do you know the date of the... Well, well, it started in the... It was built in between the 30s, 1930s and the like, 60s. Okay. Things. Yeah, building it. Yeah. yeah. So it's hard to put one style on it. Yeah. I know exactly what it is. Oh, someone was injected into screen printing today. Wow, yeah. Karen, okay, see. Okay. okay. Pretty close. Fixing the space. 
Um, I'll look back at the window. So that's the uh, that's oh, the building. Sorry. sorry, yeah. So this is the building this again. Is the building again. The living room concerts, the historic <laughs> place, <laughs> and these are all the features I'm trying to get in. So now I'm uh, focused on this one, on the circle Ooh. and the rounded O. That's why I chose the Avenida with the rounded O. Uh, to have a perfect to have a perfect circle. circle, yeah. So I'm gonna try and get this curvy thing in it. Um, make a copy. I must think so. Take a closer look. That's what I do all day. Paul Makos is asking you, uh, when did you start learning uh, graphic design? Um, I really studied graphic design in Ghent. Um, Ghent, yeah, big creative city in Belgium. Yeah, it's a great city. Um, and then I started working in a publishing house. And that's where I learned all oh. the tricks of uh, doing books and typography okay. and, and then I started freelancing and that's when you learn the most uh, and I'm still learning so <laughs> when did you start uh, um, as a freelancer as a freelancer 2007 oh, and then okay. I started my own studio in 2010 okay and I've been going ever since nice Negar is asking you have you ever done uh, ads for uh, magazines Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, we are often work with clients um, doing branding and, and all sorts of follow up. And, uh, it also okay. includes uh, advertising, or even I even finished uh, some newsprint last week. <laughs> it's still fun to do. Uh, Imagine first asking you, okay, if you were working on this logo for like a real uh, client, you know, yeah. customer, uh, what would be the cost or how would you estimate the cost of the uh, cost? Yeah. That's way too hard to answer because you can go by hourly rates and yes. just try and figure out how many hours you will, it will take you to do it. But even the better way to do it is to uh, have a fixed amount and try and see how much it is worth for your client to uh, to have what's he gonna use it on uh, in this case this is just friends doing it yeah getting together so it's not a money-making thing uh, but if you're uh, working for a big brand or doing a rebranding of a giant company you need to uh, adjust your price <laughs> simple as that yeah I also try to, um, if I work with a client, I don't just give him a logo, I try to uh, help him tell a story and mm. just figure out what his story is and then... On all the, the mediums, I guess, also. Yeah, and like, just yeah. mostly all the elements are already there, you just need to talk okay. to your client, just like with this building, all the elements are there, the colors are there, just mm. build it. So otherwise it will feel alienated or your client has to fit into the logo instead yeah, of the others. not good. Yeah. So uh, start by um, talking and discussing how you can tell his story and once you get him excited, he'll want you to do a logo but also a website and they're all connected. <laughs> Is that an answer to the question? <laughs> Yeah, I guess you need to estimate everything because even the research, you know, like the typography research, creating a mood board, yeah. understanding the philosophy of the customer, uh, the history, it takes time and this is something you need to charge, you know, you don't... Yeah, you need to yeah. look at the competition, see how everyone else yeah. is doing so you can do it differently. Study, how to make a difference, Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Uh, H2B2 is asking you how many years of experience before being a freelancer? 
Um, um, five. Five. Five years. Okay. Yeah. And then as I, I continued working at my at the publishing house and then start freelancing on the side, building clients, and then made my jump. Oh, okay. To clients who already knew yeah, me. Yeah, to have a similar so side I, I didn't just do it overnight. And what was the main motivation then? Um, doing different things, explore, yeah. explore mm -hmm. um, and getting into branding more. I already made the, the logo for the publishing house and, and then it's uh, just continuing to use it. So I wanted to do more. Pathfinder. Eh. To the wrong one. Eh. Seven. Seriously. That's the right one. God. Look. Oh my god. I need it separately. I need this to be separate. <laughs> <laughs> How many mistakes? Oh my god. Seriously? Seriously? Okay. Martin? Teach me. Boom. Live. <laughs> Do you use the shape builder tools sometimes? You know this tool? It's a weird one. Um, hardly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know when you select plus and yeah, minus, yeah, you can drag over it and and say, yeah, I want to keep this and, and I want to okay. that. Okay, so we wanted to introduce some new. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So again, so that's inspired by the the pattern on the glass window. Yeah. So have a look. Mm. It's like it has some character, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's not really in, in the middle, so it's not in the middle. No. And there is this arc. Okay. Yeah. So something like this. Uh we have our directors in the chat. Oh. Okay, so you say okay, OC uh no. C door H we scale down to X. Yeah, but there's a 30 seconds delay, so maybe they were not expecting C. you to to remove the C. You know, they, they thought that you would keep the C, I guess, so that's why. Okay. <laughs> and Goya says, for us, Martin is priceless. <laughs> yeah, but he, he's yeah. one, he's he, one he of, won't work for free. All he's one life. of the guys. Uh, he, he needs a price. He's uh, attached to the cinema. He won't get it. <laughs> Austin says, so even professionals make that mistake. Yeah, the Pathfinder. We'll make mistakes with the Pathfinder all our life because we are doomed. We're here to make mistakes. We are doomed. But that's also what I like with Adobe Live. Is uh, you really see the entire process of creating like beautiful artworks. But in this process, yeah, you make mistakes. You know? And sometimes we see designers like taking a direction, and after 15 minutes, they're like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> delete everything. So, yeah. We're just human. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> it's all about making decisions. And all the replays of the previous streams are available on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. So I really invite you to subscribe. And if you search on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel, uh, Adobe Live, one word, you will see all the replays. From November, we had uh, more than 100 guests. So a lot of content. Let me check what's going on on Twitter because we want you to fix the poster and also share your portfolios. Okay, uh, Martin, can you just tell us the quotation division you provide to clients, the basic points for a logo? Well, sorry, what? When you do a quote, I guess, a financial quote or. The quotation division. Oh, like, uh, so I guess when you send a, a proposal, mm -hmm. you know, to a customer, you say uh, how many days for the research or how many days for production, how many days. I, I don't no, I don't, don't no. give them that much insight. No. Not, not too many details. No, you just not find too many details. And, uh, They'll just grab you. And they have to trust you. <laughs> with everything yeah, you said, good. yeah. Don't give too much insight in, in how many hours. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah.
trying to figure out how much white space I need. The white space. Can you explain what this is, maybe? This, the. That's the white space. The white space. Because I thought it should correspond with the, with the white space I have in here, but it's way too big. Trisha doesn't feel alone anymore. I guess it was a reference to the Pathfinder. <laughs> I don't know why it's so confusing for our minds. You know, like merge, extrude, I just intersect. Click, I'll just click all over the place. Yeah, I just click I everywhere. What I, what I have. Yeah. As you're working on the space, maybe we can review some portfolios because yeah. so there are really two interactive parts, okay, if you want to engage with us. The first one is to participate in the contest. So you download the Illustrator file. There is a, a poster with very bad design in black and white. Great illustrations, but no colors and by typography. So fix the poster and share it on Twitter, Instagram, adding the Adobe Live hashtag. You can win prizes such as a signed poster by Martin, <laughs> uh, credit card subscriptions, Adobe Stock subscriptions and maybe an Adobe Stock Action Hero if I find some. What's an Adobe Stock Action Hero? Uh, it's uh, we had a campaign uh, called the Hovering Art Director. Oh yeah. You know the video, yeah. it's super funny. And now yeah. we, there is a, a figurine, you know, like Action Hero. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. That we give away, and I've heard there are some in Paris. So I will double check and you let you know tomorrow. You have a picture of this. Uh, I will try to find it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Adobe stock. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. That's it. So we try to find if we have some in Paris. Maybe I will give away some, okay? But you need to enter the contest, okay? There is a contest tab on adobelive.com. Uh, Kunal, if you want to upload your portfolio, go on adobelive.com. There is a share your portfolio, your Behance portfolio button. And this is what people did. So want to review just a few portfolio? Yeah, yeah sure. Just to, also, it, it gives us a good feeling of who's watching. So it's okay. Nice. So we have, for instance, uh, Alex from uh, Portland, very creative city, mm -hmm. uh, and he's a graphic designer. So is there something that you say? Oh, I want to know more. When you look at the portfolio, um, something catching your eye. The Portland Fitness Initiative. That one, the black one. The black one. Yeah. Okay, personal training. <sighs> Wireframes, mobile and desktop, so this is, yeah. Website. Information architecture, mobile experience, responsive, whoa. Print and logo. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Where you see the history from the sketch? Yeah. Should be at the start of the project. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Maybe start with the design process. And yeah, then, it's always yeah. nice to see how you how you think. Yeah, this one was very good too, but this one maybe stronger for fitness. Yeah, maybe it makes more sense. Yeah, because it's about about the muscles. Although I like the fact that the uh, the font on the left, the, the one in the middle, has thick and thin in it, just like the lines of the mouth. So. Oh, I see. More texture. Yeah. Yeah. So more. Uh, Conversation between the text and the, and the illustration. And the illustration. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, he's also a new illustrator, apparently. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. So is this drawn and then scanned? Oh, I or? guess. I guess it's drawn. Yeah. Yeah. It's scanned. So ink, ink drawing. Ink. Yeah. Good job, Alex. Thanks for watching. That would make a nice poster. To, uh... Maybe one more. Oh, I recognize this one. <laughs> Because it was for the Adobe Live contest. 
I think. No? Maybe not. She does that. Yeah, it looks good. Good build up, yeah. In Cambodia. Whoa! Okay. Look at that. And he also participated in the Tech 10 contest, which is, was a Adobe Stock contest. Oh, the love lettering. Oh my god. You're watching all the Adobe live streams. It's awesome. <laughs> I recognize this. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Looks great. And uh, Daryl, is there something also that you like? Want to know more? The car, maybe? Okay, so it's an administration. <coughs> surf wagon. Oh, yeah, the, there is the board here. Yeah, surf. Wow. Surf. Nice one. Yeah. Great detail. Great texture. The wood is beautiful. Yeah. Also the highlights here. I really like it. The wheel. Maybe sh show some more detail. Just uh, oh, some close-ups. Some close-ups. Yeah, maybe more on the wheel and yeah. And maybe tell why you did this. Is this client yeah. work? Is this free work? Uh, you, you can add a description here, Daryl. Maybe it will help us understanding if it's just yeah, a personal project. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. point. Uh, yeah, very professional, and he's from uh, the UK. Yeah, good job. Right. Very good. And Ricky is from Colombia. Illustrator. Oh. Anything you want to. That one. It's from 2012, 2013. Okay. So maybe we can. We will see the progress. Oh. Good skills here. And if we take a most. Maybe a recent one. Yeah. From March 2017. Yeah. Okay. You can feel the progression. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, it's different awesome. style. Oh, nice. Much more Society. detailed. Yeah. It's quite, yeah. Yeah. We love the colors here. <laughs> oh. That one I like. Yeah. <laughs> I like it better when she, uh, she or he, Ricky is a. <laughs> Nice. Very good job, yeah. Yeah. Really amazed by people watching Adobe Live. It's awesome. Okay. So yeah, keep sharing. You go on Adobe Live and there is a share your portfolio button. And also from 99 News, so it will be uh, in uh, June. It's a conference in New York. Yeah. Um, we will have about 16 guests will be live presenting their work but also reviewing portfolios so if you submit them today actually you will also uh, get chances to have your portfolio reviewed during the the next streams okay including 99u which will be a big one about behance portfolios because this is a behance conference so yeah just submit your portfolios using twitter gonna do it again Oh no. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? This one behind. Um, okay. Oops. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Excellent. Hi, oh, Janet. She burnt, uh, she burnt her soup because she was watching at the bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> happens so um, we have uh, something of a logo yeah I really like the eye of cinema like that that's a real feature something yeah the eye and the O right, right. yeah yeah so I showed you earlier that I like um, these posters that have graphic elements on yes them. so we can do Something animals. <laughs> graphic animals. <laughs> graphic animals. <laughs> <laughs> so this is one. Maestro is asking, will the stream from 99 years similar to off? Yes, it will be exactly the same format where you will discover creatives from New York this time, exclusively from Brooklyn and New York, which is one of the most uh, creative city these days in the industry and they will review your portfolios. So not portfolios from people from 99 years, but your portfolios. And we will use the share your portfolio feature. That's why it's already there. 
Just wanted to make sure it works. <laughs> okay. So I'll just have a look at some things we can use on a poster. Okay, what's going on, Mark? So I'm looking for graphic anim elements that I <laughs> animals that I can put on a poster really big and just Oh, just have a reference with the logo on the poster oh, okay. itself. Okay, so from the letters, you try to extract some yeah. shapes. Some yeah, say. continue telling the same story. Okay, references, CIO. referencing uh, these CI. CIO. Yeah, it could be me. It could be you. <laughs> I just uh... okay. So maybe head over to uh, InDesign and start building a poster. Um, save the... Okay, so when do you use Illustrator or when do you use InDesign? So when, when you want to create a poster, most you use of it, uh, most of the time I work with InDesign. Oh, okay. And I just travel travel to in to uh, Illustrator to get factors, and I go to Photoshop to get pixels. But InDesign always is bring the, it, is bring the it, hub. Yeah, I always bring it to InDesign. Interesting. Also for making PDFs and all sorts. It's because I started in books. I was focused on InDesign. Yeah. I mean, InDesign has uh, still the best uh, typography features. Yeah, and, for sure. Uh, so yeah, you working uh, for a publisher, I guess. Uh, you needed all these all these features. Yeah. yeah. So when you were working for this publisher um, or publishing house, I mean, yeah, I mean, publishing house, publishing house, and I was on the inside, I had the uh, in-house uh, in -house. design team. Okay, yeah. so you had to design some uh, covers, yeah, of course. So it's mm -hmm. more or less this this process, you know. Yeah. Uh, but did you also have to design some size, uh, the text, you know, like yeah, sure. and how it behaved and uh, everything, everything, yeah, yeah. like. Literally starting with a book cover and doing the inside, just really text layout, basic layout. Yeah. And uh, adding illustrations and. Uh, ah, yeah, sometimes. You yeah. Know. It and was a. Uh, numbers. Yeah, and you well, have to, uh, um, most of the books were children's books, okay. young adult books. So, children's books you can read. Oh, yeah, a lot of illustrations. A lot of illustration. Oh, yeah. And working with illustrators. <laughs> uh, so, it's like a different poster every page. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so I got my elements. I need to put something on. So I, I mentioned before that we had an artist playing before, um, Julia Kent. Don't know if you know her. She's, Julia? Uh, Julia Kent. Yeah, you were talking about her. Yeah, she <laughs> played. Well, I'll, I'll make a poster with her on it. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so you want to? You were inspired by this idea of having a very strong picture and placing the elements on the top. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sounds great. So I went looking for a beautiful picture of uh, Adobe of, of <laughs> Julia Kent. Sorry, <laughs> um, and I found one by Pepe Fotografia. They are an Italian studio. Wow, and they make really great pictures. Wow, and this yeah. is a picture of her. It's also on our website. So she's, she plays uh, the cello. She is a, a composer. She played with uh, Anthony and the Johnsons. Um, mm. So big talent and a great image to start with. Awesome. First, can you uh, how many what is the temperature now? Can you go to 22, please? <laughs> Thank you. Service, you are in a fridge. In a butler. <laughs> in a fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing your portfolios. We'll review more portfolios in about 30 minutes, maybe. Sure, yeah. Keep sharing. Because we need to get this poster ready. Huh? No stress. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Do you have a composition in mind already, or are you just playing around? Well, with the, I mean, you have to also adapt the composition to the picture. Yeah, what I like about putting uh, the logo on the right hand side is when you, you your eyes enter the poster on the left upper corner, okay. and, it, and it leaves at the bottom uh, right. So that's the last thing I want to add to. Uh, that's the final to the poster. Yeah, that's the what's the name. The exit, the yeah, exit point, I don't know. Take away the... They will find a name. Try to find a kind of graphic or design or scientific name for this. I'm sure <laughs> there's they, probably they will be a very name. There will be a name, yeah. yeah. I'm sure there is a name. The art directors can help. Yeah. Um... I am, I saw a good point. At least the AC is working, yeah. We had some issues in the past in the studio in, of San Francisco. Okay. Where the AC was broken, so we had a very tough day. Okay. It was like uh, almost 40 degrees in the studio, which was really bad. And here, no, it's... It's nippy. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> just uh, ask the, just, butler, yeah, the just butler to no. increase temperature. <laughs> Get us a drink. <laughs> So okay, I had a oh, nice. I had a color palette. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna add it to the swatches. Thanks for sharing your portfolios. Awesome. I have a question about the uh, Behance portfolios. Okay. See if you have a profile page. Yeah. You have a you have a profile picture. Yes. What does the chat think about if you have a picture of your face or you have a logo? Or logo. In my case, I have a logo. You have a logo. I've I've made a logo and I use a logo, but it's just me. It's just me being a freelancer. Do uh, people so you, so, yeah. find it? off-putting if, if I use a logo and think I'm just a big company or okay. is it much more personal to, have a, to, to have, have a picture? It's a good picture. question. Yeah. yeah. yeah if you have a, an opinion about. in the chat, if you have a studio or just freelancing also like Martin, but you're just, uh, just Martin. And even if you employ, I guess, interns, I mean, the customer will uh, meet you, you know, in person. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. What works the best, or, or which film do you get? You know, when you visit your portfolio, and either you see a logo, and I know that people in the chat also are sharing their, their their portfolio. They use either a picture, a portrait picture, or a logo. Yeah, what do you prefer, or what do you trust more? It's a good question. Because every time you, when you start freelancing, you can't wait to make your own logo, and you yeah. get, it, get it out there. You but need that reference. Is, it's just you showing up, and uh, yeah. For all on social media being personal about our personal life, uh, do you need to hide behind the logo mm -hmm. as a freelancer? I still like my logo, I want to use it, but I was just wondering. <laughs> Jean, who will be uh, our next guest in one hour, says picture. <laughs> picture. Jean is very. Okay, Jean is direct. Uh, he Joe. Uh, who is uh, watching from Dubai, I think, says that pictures are more personal than a logo. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then do, does it mean that you trust it more because it's personal? That's the main question also. Alex says, I'm not a good model. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Martin has a great picture. I, mean, I don't know if you watched it. I'm not a, mo I'm a not screen. model. Yeah. The first screen, you know, when we announced him. So. Incredible, Great what, incredible what you can do with Photoshop. Yeah, it's a <laughs> <laughs> there is a tutorial. There's a tutorial how to, touch how to turn a monkey into me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Erika says, I prefer to see pictures where the work speaks. I don't want to be influenced by the way someone looks. Oh, that's interesting, that's Erika. That's an interesting point, yeah. yeah. 
uh, Jim says I prefer a picture for avatar and put the logo as a piece of your work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then it's true that in your case, just even the, I mean, the name of the studio is your name. The, my old, uh, I can right. show you. Um, this is my, uh, Identity? My brand identity. Screen printed wrapping paper. Wow. Um, so it's just my name. Martin, the, um, imagination and design. Yeah, the design is just <laughs> stupid. It's just Douglas. Yeah. I needed to put something in to make it interesting. It's not. <laughs> but it's, it's sort of like a cloud. It's MD. It's sort of like a cloud with my initials in it. And so I, I like making all this stuff, stickers and stamps. So I had to make oh, a, nice. I had to make a logo. That's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, we have uh, Lauren saying, "I trust a good logo over a pretty face." Interesting. <laughs> Negar says you should make a logo with your face characteristics. Good compromise, you know. <laughs> A lot of diplomacy here. Um, Casey says pictures are for Facebook. Okay. Yeah, probably are. And Garrett is using a picture of his missing tooth. I mean, why not? Turn it into a logo. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and also you can have a, a nickname, such as Gordon this morning. I mean, uh, 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 he was the first streamer and um, his nickname in the industry is uh, Middle Boop. Middle Boop. And okay. then he has a brand with a logo and, uh, and uh, he has a, a tote bag, I mean, everything. Okay. And it's Middle Boop. Right. Did he explain where, where he got the name from? No, he I didn't want to share. Yeah, I can is, imagine but... too, but he didn't want to share. I want to hear tomorrow. the story. Yeah. Maybe on Thursday he will share. <laughs> uh, Carpet is asking where are you from? So Martin is uh, from Belgium. Belgium, yeah. Um, you, um, you grew up You, you grew up in uh, yeah, Belgium? Yeah, I've been living in Belgium my whole life. Yeah. All your life? Yeah. What do you prefer about Belgium? What do I prefer about Belgium? The people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the most popular answer would be beer, I guess. But, okay. oh. yeah. but I'm not a big yeah. beer drinking guy. I would say the sense of humor. Also. The sense of humor. Yeah. That's more uh, a British trait, I guess. Uh, I like the Belgium one too. Like when I joined Adobe, I. Uh, I was working uh, one week in Brussels and one week in Paris okay. for more than six months because we were launching the activity in Brussels. Okay. So I had the chance to work uh, yeah, with a lot of companies and customers in Belgium. Okay. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was really good. They told you how they felt pretty directly. Hmm? Were they way too direct for you? No, actually yeah. they were very... Uh, uh, very happy to engage with a French man, actually. Okay. Like and um, super nice and direct, but in a good way. You know, because they, I feel it's much easier, like they, they give a chance. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they say, okay, I will try your idea or your product. And and then we will see. But they, I feel they, yeah, they, they have this tendency of investing in you. Mm -hmm. When in France, they can be very doubtful. So you say, uh, no, I want to try this, 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 this before investing. Okay. Yeah. You know, so you can like make prototypes for two years <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. um, before investing. So it's very tough. When, yeah, I felt that, yeah, it was. Okay, Juni, what is Juni? Uh, June. In what? Julia. In what is this language? Juni, that's uh, Flemish. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, There's a typo here. Yeah. Did you leave the office when you went to Brussels? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, chocolates, yeah, from Belgium. Yeah. Chocolate. Good yeah. one, Janet, yeah. Chocolate fries. Still large. <laughs> Still what? Still uh, the beer. Yeah. I'll sell a beer. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I live, but I make it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Far close to it. Is Leuven also a university? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big, big one, one right? Yeah. 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 I've been there. And there is a new one, no? It's not Louvain and Neuve. Um, no, it's not a new one. It's just in the. It's a name, yeah. In Wallonie. In yeah, it's where Wallonia. Wallonia. When Leuven is from the. Yeah, from, there's, from a, there's a big history. Uh, yeah. yeah, with a very old uh, city center. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been there. Oh my god, look at that. We speak, we speak, and something beautiful is happening on the screen. Okay. We did that. <laughs> wow. What is this typeface? It's beautiful. Um, that's the most um, common one. <laughs> it's the minion. This is <laughs> I know. standard. <laughs> Who designed this typeface? Oh, is it Adobe? <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Good job, Adobe. Um, let's look for a typeface. Are you sending? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, and you have your own Mac. Uh, so professional. Logo. Yeah. Even your Adobe ID has the logo. First time I see that. Uh, you started a great conversation, like great uh, thread in the chat. Yeah, love it. Still going on. Yeah, about yeah. The, uh, about logo, logo picture. Okay. Uh, Kunal is asking you any special concept behind using shapes and different colors in this case? Mm, this the concept behind shapes. Yeah. The building. Maybe he joined later. Yeah, that's and, okay. So shapes yeah. are inspired by the building. Yeah, the building is this. Um, and then just uh, on top of the picture just to create some uh, So every every energy, little energy. thing of the logo comes yeah. from these uh, glass windows. Geometric forms. Yeah. yeah. So we're looking for a typeface. Um, uh, what do you want, a serif? I want a sans serif. I want it to be. Uh, you know how to install it. Yeah, I like it. I don't want web. So we have just added uh, hundreds of phones two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, we have a huge update of the TypeKit catalog. So. I invite you to check Typekit again. If you are a Creative Cloud member, it's part of your subscription. So really, I invite you to use this uh, service. It's one of the best value. Uh, I mean, I'm a big fan of Typekit. OK, so Ms. Ba is asking a very tough question. Can you please suggest me an effective typeface? So first, effective typeface. Okay. Very strong. It gives me an impression of something related to Maritime. So I guess the C now. Yeah, yeah. Princess. Uh, mm. For instance, Minion Bolt from Closely Resemble to the font used for Red Lobster. Okay, where is Red Lobster? I'm missing that. Okay. Uh, can you give us more detail, Miss Ballet? What would be, uh, because Maritime, you know, it could be uh, in the army, it could be uh, someone selling, uh, selling some boats. It could be a restaurant where you can eat oysters, you know, yeah. Maybe we need more context. And also we need uh, time in space when you choose a typeface, you know, uh, because you need to understand the culture of, uh, of the region, the country, the relationship with the typeface, the history. And uh, time, you know, uh, do you want a reference to 50s or or to very old sailors, you know, fighting the sea, and then you get a very old typeface such as Garamond. I have a good uh, resource for looking for type. Um, if you go to um, Fonty News, news. Uh, yeah. Pro tip here. <laughs> That's a great Fonty one. Fonty News. So you can search for a font you use and you want to have a, an extra font to go with it to make a pairing. This is a great resource. Yeah. Um, 
Actually, actually uh, Rufus and I, we met uh, Stephen Coles, who is uh, behind Fontaine News. Okay. I mean, he's one of the contributors. Great. Yeah. We met him at uh, Typo in Berlin. It's great. Resource. He knows everything <laughs> about typography. It's scary. Oh, you know what? I will give away a credit card subscription to someone in the chat because we have a great audience. They are asking great questions and they even had a, a debate about uh, should I use a picture or logo uh, for my studio as a freelancer. It was very interesting. Um, okay, so get ready. Make sure you get the template. Okay, go on Adobe Live. Click on get the template. There is a button. I will put the link in the chat again if you if you are lazy. And open the template in Illustrator. I will ask you a question about the template. And you will have to answer in the chat. And maybe you will get lucky and you will win a Creative Cloud subscription. I will give away a credit card subscription. I will open the template and I will find a tricky question. You will have to answer in the chat. And Nightboat will. Nightbot, sorry. Nightboat is on the sea, but Nightbot is a robot. So I need to pay attention to my pronunciation. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, easy one. Hey, night boat. Oh yeah, there is night boat and night boat. I need to pay attention. Thanks for being here. That's funny. <laughs> what does night boat say? And the winner is. <laughs> and the winner is. So, Jared, you cannot download? That's weird. You should. It's on Creative Cloud. Let me know why. Maybe you need to sign in on Adobe.com. Okay. The question is. So you need to fix a poster, okay? That's the theme of the template. You need to add colors and you need to fix the typography. Um, and uh, this poster is about an event called the Adobe Camp, which will take place in May, but on which day of the week? Okay, so you need to type the day of the week when the Adobe Camp will take place. I will give you a few minutes to answer. It looks great, Martin. I really love the colors. Okay. And it matches with the building. <laughs> there are beautiful cars, but. Okay. Yeah, you know, it matches with the glass window. So I need to credit to the photographer. Whoop, oh my god, I think they found the day. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's Friday. Janet, this is your daughter's birthday? What do you mean? 
Give me more details. Okay, I give you 30 seconds and then I will ask Netbot to pick someone. Yeah, Netbot. I, I've learned. Oh my God. I've learned. You know, I learn in real time. Impressive. It's impressive. It's, it's right? impressive. It's like Martin. <laughs> Martin? No, I know how to pronounce funny. his name. I don't say Martin or Martin. I say Martin. Martin. That's even better. Yeah, yeah. Martin. You know, See, like, yeah, I, I learn yeah, in real yeah. time. It's crazy. Great, man. <laughs> you should be on TV. <laughs> We should be live from a cave in Paris, <laughs> from a closet. Oh, that's the case, actually. Oh, Janet, so your daughter is born on May 12. I think that a lot of great people on this planet uh, were born also on May 12, like one day. The best people usually um, wear I Think you're talking about yourself now? Probably. <laughs> 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 and they are all very humble. <laughs> and they learn. <laughs> and they learn so fast. <laughs> New languages. It's awesome. Okay, Nightbot. And the winner was okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, wow. He's Jack Dun Dunham. Jack Denham, Woo! you get a Creative Cloud subscription if you're already a member of Creative Cloud. It will extend your membership. So it's wow. awesome. Yeah. yeah, great. Good job, Jack. And stay with us. There will be more giveaways. Also, enter the contest if you want to get even more chances to win the giveaway. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. It will give you more chances in the future. Um, So Jack, I let you uh, you know recover. You're very excited, of course. <laughs> I want you to uh, share in the chat your Twitter handle, so I can contact you right after this stream. Okay, wake up, Jack. I hope you didn't go to the restroom or answered a call. Oh, he says thank you. Okay, Jack. So now I want you to share your Twitter handle, so I can contact you. Congratulations. And there will be more giveaways, especially on Friday after the streams. We give away a lot of stuff if you enter the contest. Usually we only uh, give away um, prizes to 10 people, but this mm -hmm. time to 30 people. Wow. But yeah. Feeling generous. Uh, thanks for sharing. I will contact you now. Be ready, Jack. Jack, who is from Atlanta. Oh, like Terry White. Mm. I'm writing to Jack. Okay. Jack. Hey, Chuck. Okay. Uh, I am a lion saying, good job, Martin. Beautiful color selection. Greetings from Frankfurt. Awesome, we have people watching like from Frankfurt. Germany. I like Frankfurt. Uh, I, great city. <laughs> I've not spent a lot of time in Frankfurt. Because usually I, I used to go to a conference, but it was in Mainz, you know, miles next to Frankfurt. Yeah. So I've only been to the airport, I think. Okay. Mm. I took a few, a few pictures of uh, buildings in Frankfurt that are now oh. downloadable on, on Splash for free. Oh. Yeah. What kind of architecture? Um, they have these high-rise buildings. And uh, where is it? I hey, Joe, you want the action figure of the art director? Enter the contest. Might happen just for you. These Whoa. are both yes. in Frankfurt. I love these pictures. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow, the mesh here is awesome. That's at uh, the Messe, I think. It's a big hole in the ceiling. Yeah. 
Okay. Back to the booster. I'm trying to distract him, but he's yeah. so efficient. Uh, Powell, can we remove the grunge texture? Yeah, if you feel that it will help your design, fixing the poster for the contest, yeah. Your choice. For instance, if you take uh, an artistic direction which relates to the 80s, then yeah, you should remove the texture. Uh, Joshua is asking you, Martin, how did mm -hmm. you come up with that composition? Is there anything specific or just... Um, really just looking what's already there. So you have a... She's looking down and I like to uh, put emphasis on her face, so I use okay. the soft circle. Smart. This looked like a fun thing to do, to have a ribbon around her uh, cello. This stick she's holding... Um, just crossed it with another line just to build this art deco kind of feeling and then I noticed that these lines are just equally as thick and I just oh, yeah. turned it yeah that's good well wow. and I need something to come in from the side can't be all in the middle so this is where I ended up yeah good job I'm just gonna try a different typeface I just recently bought one Called the Rosina. Rosina. Rosina, which has these. Oh, I see why. There's a link between. Because there's so many Yeah. Yeah, we see a lot of people watching from uh, Germany, which is awesome. Okay. Actually, next week, uh, people from Germany. If you come back on Adobe Live, there will be an exclusive live stream in German with uh, five German artists, um, graphic designers, uh, illustrators, photographers, and they will be live from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. your time in Germany, okay? German time, yeah. or what is it, like CET maybe, Central European uh, time zone. Um, so make sure to come back next week if you speak German. If you don't speak German, you can come back. But it would be watch. more challenging to engage the <clears> conversation. <throat> but maybe you will learn German because we are we are all fast learners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we I, we have another great entry. Let me show you that. So we have someone who entered the contest and share already a poster. And this is Pav Flaman Cody. Yeah, and it looks great. Adobe Camp with uh, some serif font. Okay. I love the colors, yeah. I'm sure you can do better with the typeface. The typeface in the middle. Yeah, it's really in the middle. The, uh, the eye catcher. Give me the second shot. I'm sure yeah. you can do a better job. But the, the color palette. Good yeah. job, I can feel the forest, I can feel the nature, I can feel the night. Yeah, just push it a little bit more on the typography and uh, it's a great entry. Thanks for participating and entering the contest. I hate Joe. Yeah, so I invite you, Hedro, to enter this contest because I will try to find action uh, figure, what's the name? Action hero figure, yeah of uh, the uh, art director. I've heard that there are some in Paris, so maybe I can ship, ship them from Paris. And not sheep. Yeah. The sheep is the animal. Yeah. Sheep, shit, yeah. Sheep. Didn't know where you were going, so. <laughs> yeah, I suddenly stopped. <laughs> Notice that. So I'm just fiddling with the uh, spacing and... What do you think of this one? As opposed to the first one? Because this one has this, this 
this letter E yeah. that corresponds with yeah, the logo. Yeah, with the cinema, yeah. But this one has the, the friendliness and the roundness. So is it... Uh, what do you think? Do you think that the friendliness and the roundness is better because it matches with the picture? Yeah, but it won't always match the picture. Exactly. Because so, it could be someone... So is it better to take a stronger choice and say, that's the identity I want? Yeah, probably best. Yeah. Just to link I, it. I think so. Okay. I approve your decision. <laughs> I approve this message. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, this looks about ready. Oh, you didn't mess up the font path, just that I think you can <coughs> just make it better. You, you can make a difference choosing another typeface, I'm sure. It was a little bit uh, too classic and maybe feel, yeah, you can work better on the space, pretty sure. All right. So what I like to yeah, do actually, next? I like it better. Oh, Not I see. No. Never saved it. You never saved it? Oh my god! See, living dangerously. <laughs> living yeah, on the edge. Belgian way. Uh, James is digging the second one too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's follow him. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. We trust James <laughs> because he has a. What's next, James? A good avatar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll just make a quick PDF and then I'll try to make a quick mock-up just to see how it feels Oh, in the street? In the real world In the real world, in Photoshop you mean? I mean in a... <laughs> yeah In the real world of Photoshop Yeah Great. All right. So you want to use like a placement template? I have a I have this thing I like. Um, it's called Life Surface Context. What is this? It oh works, my god! What it, is this? It works as a plugin for in uh, for Illustrator. Really? Yeah. And it. What is this? It's a complete Surface Store because you can just look for maybe people people if you want to place a tattoo in someone's neck you can use <laughs> these or have someone hold a business card okay so these are like placement yeah they're templates. all really really fast mock-up um, okay templates so i selected this one which is a poster at a station okay what you, what you can do is adjust these like now, for instance, this is just a vignetting. Um, didn't know if you saw that one. <laughs> well, you can go all elaborate and then okay, so if you can you choose work on the edit, picture. it'll open it up in uh, Illustrator and create a uh, document. Yeah, with uh, several layers, I guess. Yeah, so well, you can which is one layer. Yeah, this one. Okay. See on the left you have this template if you want uh, the left poster and then you have this little uh, yeah, very space subtle. is just okay. uh, the right place that'll very be subtle. this this oh for this, this one stuff yeah oh okay okay, yeah, okay, it's okay. Very... so it's waiting for something here okay, yeah okay. it's waiting for something. I get it okay okay so I have this PDF I can place into it if I remember where I put it oh, it's cool okay did you know this one it's cool. Live surface. Sounds like a Microsoft project though. <laughs> They're independent, it's not Microsoft. <laughs> Tell us more about this market plugin. But Joshua, I invite you to visit the live surface uh, plugin website yeah 
we should discover it and it looks Chubon, awesome. Chubon Ministry, the life surface website. Or they will find oh, they will find someone will put the link in the chat. So now it's the easiest one, two, three. <laughs> Never works out when okay. you say it that way. Yeah, just course. apply it to the artwork. Okay. And then it and should. And then you come back to life surface. Then it shows up here. There you go. Okay. So there you have it. Awesome. The great thing about it, you can now export it really easily. Like for instance, uh, as a high-res JPEG or TIFF. Oh, I see. Yeah. <clears throat> so like that. Do you have the last version of Photoshop? I do. Okay, we show you something. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Paro, for keeping up updated on the soccer match. <laughs> Juventus against Monaco. Okay. 1-0 for Juventus. Ah, I think Monaco will say goodbye to the Champions League. Okay, and you have, okay, one, okay, so I will show you something. You will show me something. Can you do a file new? Oh, new. Okay. Then you will go in the print tab. Print. And this is listing, like if you scroll down, uh, templates, uh, also placement templates from mm -hmm. uh, Adobe Stock. Okay. So now we also invite designers to upload templates. Some are free, some are not free. You mm -hmm. know, so you use your Adobe Stock credits. Uh, so maybe we can try if you will scroll down. Yeah. And then we can try. Oh, of course, it's reversed. Yeah. We can try this one for instance. Can you try that? License, it's free. Why do you want to license it? No. Okay. This is downloading. Ah, oh, yeah, we're looking for Gene. This is downloading gently. Uh, so the difference here is that uh, you need to be familiar with Photoshop. Mm -hmm. What I like with Live Surface, though, is that it does the job for you. As you said, it's one, yeah. two, three. Okay. Uh, especially you if you don't know Photoshop, you just drag and drop your stuff in your straighter. Yeah. But here, you need some basic Photoshop knowledge. Well, we will see the difference, okay? Okay. We'll, we'll make the experience. You like free, Daniel. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, Nightbot didn't like this comment because it was all caps. Yeah, be, be nice with Nightbot. He doesn't like all caps messages. He becomes very angry. Or she becomes. Okay. So, so we have we reflection. Have, we have reflection, and then you have a layer here that yeah. says your image. So I guess we need to double click. And maybe you can drag and drop your uh, yeah, just paste over your it. PDF. Yeah, it's on the side. Oh, can you do it? Yeah, sure. I need to be slow. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Go. Well, Close, it? it's really close, the format. Yeah. And then you save, and you come back to the previous composition, and here we go. And yeah, so there is nice uh, reflection too, uh, but you can also add... It's a reflection of a building. I yeah, guess. On, yeah. The, on the opposite. That's a nice one, yeah. And you can... Uh, of Great. course, also add some. Uh, this is Photoshop, so you can add some adjustment layers, you know, to maybe reduce the contrast to make it more realistic. Yeah. Or tint the image. So. Okay. Great one. So it's another one. Uh, so Adobe Stock is getting there also, you know, to provide more and more placement templates. Uh, you have some for T-shirt, as you said. Like. For, yeah. Yeah. It's but uh, yeah, Live Surface. Yeah. Great resource. I wasn't okay. aware of this one. Look great. So. Um, just gonna see, maybe, do you wanna look at a portfolio? Or do I do another post here? Or? Yeah, because we have uh, 20, no, yeah, 22 minutes left. Okay. We can review some portfolios that have been shared by our friends. Uh, so we have, for instance, uh, Pedro. So how to share a portfolio? You go on adobelive.com and there is a button, which is share my portfolio. 
Okay, easy. It creates a tweet. Okay, so that's why we have a lot of people sharing their portfolios. And we'll try to review all of them, but it takes time. So, sorry, uh, keep sharing. We make sure to, we'll try to review all your portfolios. <coughs> so, Pedro is from uh, Lisbon. Lisbon. Uh, anything you want to. Shapes. Shapes, in design, shapes, are two dimensional areas, academic work, uh, as a student. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's load this one full screen. Hmm. Uh, for the fashion week. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I like the colored organic work. Yeah. But then again, if I see the typefaces, they're all strict and all really sharp and okay. then there's an organic form so i will either you're looking for a contrast or you need to make those work together better okay and make it more organic or yeah well now i see shapes is probably the logo yeah yeah Yeah, probably the name of the of the fair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. In Paris, which is original. Okay. It's an event in Lisbon, but the uh, picture is, is from Paris. You recognize the street. Yeah. And from the US. I mean, it's everywhere. And it's a worldwide <laughs> country. Uh, I'm kidding. Good job. Anything else you want to review? Um, yeah, what's that one? The black one. Uh, and yes, the arena is only in Photoshop CC. Probably CC, yeah, 2017. Yeah. To get the, the new welcome screen. Okay, so what is it? Antonio is a fashion and portrait photographer based in London. Okay. Lisbon. In Lisbon. Yeah. Okay, Antonio. That's his uh, okay to promote his work as a photographer. And oh, that's here. Okay, identity is here. About okay. I guess it's clean. I like the the tick and ten. Yeah, yeah. the contrast. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good idea. interesting to see if it's if it's a real signature or I wonder if this should maybe this should be enough so, like do you really need this yeah you got two different logos going on yeah so, uh, that's why we should make a choice maybe. yeah also the thumbnail is, is a bit weird that's why I chose it <laughs> I don't know what it is so, uh, because you cannot tell it yeah okay. mm. just maybe put a face Put the put the face in it. Mm. Attract yeah, because people. on BNs it's too small. Yeah. So we get it like we we are supposed to see the logo, but yeah. Yeah. The thumbnail is too small. Okay. Good feedback. Thanks. So we have Stefan from Singapore. Singapore. Wow. Okay. We travel a lot. Yeah. Uh, illustrator, I guess. Yes. Oh, I see some double exposure. What about the uh, poster design, personal portrait? Oh, cards. House of cards. House of cards, makes sense. Mad Men. <laughs> What's all this? Uh, all this jacket. It's melting or he's uh, covered in... Yeah, uh, covered with pants. With <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Matt Magandy, John Lennon. Okay, well, never give up. I mean, it's good to have also personal projects where you practice, you know, like space typography. I can tell Stefan that you explore a lot of directions. That's nice. Yeah, of course. Uh, here's something completely different, a lot of different styles, and uh, he's also uh, a drawer, personal yeah. sketch. Yeah, okay. 
He's very into kissing. <laughs> kissing is very important. <laughs> I can tell. Oh, I like, like, I like this idea. Drawing on Captain that. America. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe, Stefan, one advice I could give you is that you go in a lot of directions in terms of style. And I guess you're very young, which is uh, awesome and great. Uh, maybe you should choose what you want to do in the future and maybe focus on that in your portfolio. So if a customer discovers your work, say, oh, OK, he's an illustrator. Or, oh, he can uh, do double explosion in Photoshop. Or he, do, he does branding. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? Because here it can be very confusing for the customer. Uh, Pav, yes, you can re-upload your artwork with different typefaces, of course. Try as many as you want. And that's it. I thought I had three. Uh, what did I do? <coughs> okay, we have two new results. Oh, actually, we have a new poster. Had a, oh, completely different uh, I like mood, like sci-fi. I don't know. <laughs> the green is the a bit green. strong. <laughs> yeah, the, the green. Right, that, but at least. It's like popping. It catches the eye. Yeah. yeah, you're like, wow, this is green. It's, okay. It's like a uranium, you know, like radiation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Chernobyl. <laughs> it, it takes the uh, attention away from the Adobe Camp type. So uh, oh. it's no longer one eye catching type that needs to be. Hmm. No, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, there is something here. What's the name of this uh, typeface? I've seen it before. Ah, I've seen it before too. Hadel, let us know. What is this typeface? We know this one. Ah, oh, is it retro? No. And yeah, big party at Rufus Place on Friday. You see? Oh, right. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Live music. Okay. So, how long? Yeah, we still have uh, about 15 minutes. So, you want to. I can make uh, another variation. Yeah, the another variation and I see how a, it goes. I have a new. Uh, have another artist um, that can come up. Zoro, if you want to watch them again, uh, the hashtag is Adobe Live on Twitter. <laughs> the green changed when you uploaded it. You don't know why, actually. Uh, maybe there was a CMYK to RGB weird stuff. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sorry for that. But I like this green. I like it. It's just now that you have this very strong green, maybe you should reconsider the typeface again. I mean, the color of the of the title. Um, Mohamed Sukarta, yes, if you want feedback on your work, of course. Uh, go on adblive.com. There is a submit my portfolio button at the bottom and it will generate a tweet so you can copy paste your the link to your portfolio. So I have this picture made by Elisabeth von Lirop mm -hmm. and it's a picture of roast beef, which is a um, Dutch singer, songwriter, poet, and overall very funny person. Mm -hmm. um, and she also played in the Cinema Oxy before. Yeah, so okay. Contacted the photographer. And the name is Rose Beef? Rose Beef, yeah. <laughs> She's called Rose, that's her first name. Oh, so she added the beef. Oh, okay. she, uh, that's funny. There's all these jokes. <laughs> I love uh, Belgium humor. Actually, she's from the Hol she's from uh, Holland. Oh, so that's weird. <laughs> she's even funnier. Is there? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of fans of the green color in the chat. You see, Hadil, you were lucky. You don't know how you got this green, but should embrace it expense. becomes your brand yeah. now. <laughs> Just put green everywhere. Uh, how did you apply to Surface in Photoshop? Uh, TCG, you will watch a replay, but basically when you apply, uh, when you uh, open Photoshop, you do file new. You have to get the really the new version of Photoshop, okay, CC 2017. You do file new and you have a welcome screen. And you say, I want to start a new print project and you will get templates and there is a free one for placement 
So it becomes a poster in the street, becomes a t-shirt. Very easy. Okay, Powell just got the roast beef uh, joke. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he like, oh, I get it. Yeah. It's a good one. And in uh, less than 20 minutes, we will welcome Jing. So let me show you her work. She's, uh... I wanted to invite her for a very long time on the stream. So I'm super happy that she could make it this time. So she will be live with us in uh, 18 minutes. And she does this crazy yeah, illustration. It's really great, yeah. And I think she will work on something that deals with uh, energy or like uh, air conditioning or something that deals with uh, like technical stuff and see how you can create an illustration from something very technical. Okay. Um, to make it more playful and then you learn something. You know, because that's, that's why I li like with uh, her illustrations is that you, you learn a lot of stuff. Like this, like the, you know, the uh, acupuncture <laughs> um, points. So yeah, she will be live with us in about 15 minutes on Adobe Live. Uh, Andy is asking, what is the best way to get better at making color palettes? Because uh, Andy, he tried color Adobe Color, <coughs> CC, which is great. Mm -hmm. But he's not like 100% happy with the colors. So how did you... How would you work on? I actually, uh, to get better at making color combinations, I yeah. uh, collect a lot of great examples. I have a Pinterest board filled with color combinations. I like. Oh, yeah. And then I have uh, this great book by a Japanese artist from the 1930s who makes all these beautiful combinations. And when you start using those, you get a better feeling of how things work and then that's interesting use so, Adobe Capture to see if you yeah. see someone who is dressed nice just take a picture yeah and, yeah yeah of course maybe they don't know what capture is let me see if I have my adapter I, I used to have an adapter on this table <laughs> <laughs> I will try to show what capture is I need something with cars yeah maybe it is Last week I saw my niece and she was wearing nice colors. So I took a picture of her, what she was wearing. And these are these blues and these browns. So maybe. I like this idea of always referencing, you know, like a, and maintaining like a board, like a mood board, but just for colors. Yeah. Color combinations. I like it. Okay, let me try to see if it works. Yeah. So I'm using. Adobe Capture. It's free. iOS, Android. You can capture shapes, create patterns, but also capture colors and it will use your camera. So here with my iPhone, I will say use the camera. There we go. That's my That's, These are Martin's colors. <laughs> and then we use this. Oh, it's green. Okay. Okay, so you can freeze, you tap once and you say, okay, I want to make sure to get that red, make sure to get this pink here, yeah, the dark one for sure. Okay, I think it, yeah, that's the color combination I like. And you can adjust everything and then you press next and you save it in a creative color library. So next time you open Photoshop, Illustrator or InDesign, you get this color theme and you're ready to work in RGB or CMYK or hexadecimal uh, color references. It's really, really nice and it's free. Download it now. <laughs> Android, iOS. Is it yours? Um, yeah, it is. Okay. Do you like it? Just want to make sure it's yours.
I won't keep it, don't worry. I won't steal it. And yes, my soul, you can create a bacon brush, but Martin is not ready for the bacon brush. Maybe tomorrow. He's not ready. You have to be ready. <laughs> you have to be ready. Yeah, it's a game changer. It's a, another level. Yeah. Got a black belt. Yeah. Yeah. In the design industry, it's yeah, what we call a game changer. <laughs> Ted is asking any young creatives here. What do you mean by young? Martin and R, we are young? We are all young. We're very young? <laughs> what do you mean? Someone is not it. agreeing in here. <laughs> uh, the name of the app, okay, it's Adobe Capture. Yeah, make sure to download it, it's awesome. And then so, take some colors, save them in the Creative Cloud library, and then open Illustrator, open the library, and you will get the colors. I mean, you should try now if you never tried. It's really super useful. And then with Adobe Capture, you can also try to capture shapes. So you take anything around you, and it will become a vector shape that you can use in Illustrator. Or you draw something on paper, black and white, and it will become a shape. Uh, we have a Spotlight Sarah who says, just downloaded Adobe Capture and can't wait to use it for future projects. <clears throat> awesome. You're welcome, Miko. Thanks for watching. So yeah, it works great huh? to play with uh, all these uh, yeah. design elements. It would be great if I could work on every picture. It's more work. But how how many guests do you have per year? I guess it's once a quarter, once, um, once it's not, per it's month. It's not a fixed thing. Okay. No. We're there's maybe one artist coming every three months or four months. Okay, yeah, so, so yeah. well, that's fine. You you will find the time to to work on the yeah on the sure. next poster. Oh yes, Dove, you have a YouTube channel. I know, I think I subscribed, Ted. I subscribed to your channel. 14 years old, well. Wow. Almost like March and then I, you know. <laughs> right. Okay, Martin, we have about like four minutes left. Okay. Do, do, do. What do you do? What are you doing? PDF? Yeah. Okay. You want to show the live or surface again? Yeah. Do that one again. That was awesome. Maybe you can start sharing with us what you will be doing tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow you know? I will be playing with a typeface um, okay. by making a packaging for Macaron. For Macaron? Oui. Yeah. You know what, Martin? Tomorrow we'll have Macaron. Okay. In the studio as you design. Macaron from Carrette. We'll only which speak is... with Macaron in her mouth. I will and... speak with Macaron. <laughs> Maybe it will improve my accent. <laughs> Where are we start talking Maybe like this, you know? Scottish. Like a real American man. <laughs> okay, so I'll just duplicate that one and have it open it quickly. Here it is. Awesome. Can export it. Oh, yeah, you can share it with your friends at the Roxy Cinema to see yeah. if they, if they like I it. I still have to introduce the logo. I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> step by step. Okay. 
Uh, what's the name of the, the font again that you use in the center? Or the name of the artist? Um, Julia Kent. That one is Someone called... Is asking. Let's see. Is asking? Rosina. Rosina. Yeah. I have a macaron giveaway. Ah, unfortunately, Daphne, they don't travel very well. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone, for watching and all the great uh, conversations we had. Martin will be back tomorrow. Okay, same time working on uh, some uh, macaron identity. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's just gonna be... I used to cook macarons, you know? So Seriously? I'm, uh, I'm big, I'm big on macarons. Yeah? Uh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it used to be my Maybe thing, uh, so. I can sell you my logo and you can start again if this doesn't yeah, work maybe, out. Yeah, maybe, so, yeah. Maybe you can find out. You can, yeah. learn, you can yeah. work on the business plan tomorrow. Yeah, Could okay. Work. Yeah, well, that's awesome. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so we will be back uh, uh, at the top of the hour in about seven minutes with uh, Jean, uh, who is from London, and just uh, saw her illustrations uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, thanks, Martin. Like, great job. I Thank love you. this. Uh, how you this journey? How you introduced the, the cinema, the, the visual culture of the cinema, and how you you brought this uh, history in the in the design. Super efficient okay. and very fresh. Thank you. I uh, really love it. Uh, yeah, it looks great. No, I would go. Like, I would see uh, this in the street. I was like, ah, I'm intrigued. I would go. Okay. Yeah, it looks You're welcome. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so we will be back. Uh, have a nice night. Okay. Thank you. And you uh, as well. See you tomorrow. Don't work too much because I won't. you work a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see you tomorrow, same time. Uh, so yeah, stay with us on Adobe Live. We'll be back in about five minutes with uh, Jing and Rufus. We'll be back too. Thanks everyone. Goodbye.